Chairman Corla. Can I just pick up on some of the points that Deputy Creed made in his own contribution and maybe to agree with him in the first instance that yes, I have people who come into my constituency office and for things like CE schemes, they're looking for extensions and they want to stay on them. But there's a difference, and the difference is this. If you're on a CE scheme and you're doing something like childcare, you'll get a qualification at the end of it. So you're actually upskilling. No, no, I didn't say all of them, but I said, but I said, I said Could I just ask me okay, to speak to the chair? chair. I should have said the same to Deputy Creed. I, I think we have too much of this carry on, you know. Through the chair, yes. last you, last you, Carla. In most cases, there is a qualification at the end of it. There is a training aspect to it. There is an educational aspect to it. And that is why people find value in those particular labour activation schemes. In this particular scheme, there is no training. There, 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 there is no training. There's no, well, there's no training budget. There isn't. Without, without no. interruption, there is no training budget for this scheme. There is, I think, just over 200 euros which will be given towards health and safety, safety aspects for anyone who's participating in the scheme. There is no training budget, there is no education budget uh, that comes with it. There is no qualification at the end of it. Basically, and if we want to talk about facts in terms of what's been said here tonight, I went on the Department of Social Protection's website and I downloaded exactly what Gateway purports to do. And this is a direct quote from it. It says, work can only be undertaken on specific purpose projects or work that the county and city councils used to undertake but no longer have the resources to carry out. <laughs> that is what it says on the Department of Social Protection's website. Yet every government minister and TD has come in here and said that this is not about job displacement. It's there in black, it's there in, it is there in black and white. These are tasks and work which was being done by the 9,000 employees of local authorities across this state who have left the employment of local authorities and are now being replaced by people being offered 20 euros a week for 19 and a half hours work. That is a fact. That is what it says on the Department of Social Protection's website. The second point, the second point, please, please, Jeffrey, please, please. the second point, people ask now for a bit of context to this debate. The second point, again quoting from the Department of Social Protection's website, it says that the work opportunities are intended to benefit the local area and are identified and provided by county and city councils. It says that they are to um, match up skills for those who are being offered the positions. Now I've heard various backbench TDs talking about this particular scheme as a way of offering new skills to the, to the participants. That is not the case. There will, no, there will be no new skills gained by anyone partaking in a gateway scheme because it says one of the criteria for it is that the local authorities have to match up the skills that the individual who participates in the scheme has with the work which is needed to be done. So if you're matching up a work placement with somebody who has a particular skill set, then what additional skills are they learning? And the answer is none. So that is also uh, a falsehood which is being spouted. Now just to respond to some of the comments to the previous speakers, Deputy McNamara criticised Sinn Féin and other members of the opposition and he said that the work that these participants are doing shouldn't be belittled by those on the opposition benches. Far from it. We're not belittling the work that these people are being asked to do. In fact, we want to reward them by paying them properly for the work they're going to be doing. The only people who are belittling the work that is going to be done by these participants is the government. 
is the government by offering them a euro an hour for the work they're going to be doing. There's nobody belittling anyone in this chamber except the government and the Department of Social Protection. Deputy Byrne says that she welcomes the scheme as it gives encouragement for people to go back to work. Now, I don't know who she's been speaking to, but anyone I've spoken to who's long-term un unemployed doesn't need any encouragement to go back to work. Because they wake up every day dreading the bills that the postman is going to drop through the door, worrying how they're going to pay their rent, put food on their table, clothe their children going to school. That is all the encouragement those people need to get back to work. They don't need encouragement, they need a damn job. And this government hasn't been very successful in providing those people with jobs. Well, if you, want to, if you want to look at the figures, and we can look at the figures, let's have a debate on those particular figures. Because it's very easy to put out and say there were 60,000 jobs created. Break down into the figures and see exactly how many full-time... Okay, we, we, we will discuss the motion, see, please. See how many, see, please. See how many actual please. net motion, jobs... Please. See how many actual net full-time jobs were created in this state last year. And let's have a proper debate with all of the information on the table. The Deputy Maloney said that he recognises there are limitations to the scheme. And he, he's damn right, there are limitations to the scheme. But there are also limitations to this government's response to the crisis in terms of unemployment. I mean, it, it was said, I don't know if it was said by Deputy Creed or by uh, Deputy Ferris a while ago, when they said that... Um, these places should be offered to people if they so choose to take them up. There is no option of taking up these places. There is a compulsion of taking up these places. And I was talking to a guy in my constituency office, because believe it or not, people do come into our constituency offices as well, and they discuss these schemes. And one of the questions he had for me was, if I'm selected to go on this particular scheme, and I'm a chippy, and I get offered a day's work on a building site. Can I take that day's work? Because according to the criteria, again, from the Department of Social Protection's website, it says that you cannot avail of part-time work if it interferes. Deputy Creed can shake his head. This is what it says on the Department of Social Protection's website. You cannot avail of part-time work if it interferes with your gateway scheme. That is not me making up this. That is what it says on the Department of Social Protection's website. Now, if you have an issue with that, then take it up with the Minister for Social Protection. Because the reality is, if somebody is on this scheme and they're working four hours a day, five days a week, they're 20 hours, they're 19 and a half hours, and they're offered an opportunity to work in the building site next week, they're on 100 euros, which is equivalent to five weeks' work on this scheme, they have to turn it down. That is true. It Please. is true. Please, it is Deputy. true, Deputy no. Creed. And if you no. want to have a debate on the facts, then I suggest you go to the Department of Social Protection's website. You download exactly what the criteria for the scheme is. There's a question and answer paper that comes with it. It lists 33 questions and it states categorically in that that you cannot avail a part-time work if it interferes with your participation in a gateway scheme. That is not the opposition making up anything. Thank you. That Deputy is what is remain. coming no, to the Department one, of Social Protection. Please no. Deputy, uh, well, one minute remaining. Look, I'm only, I look, you asked now for a bit of uh, clarity and, and um, no, there is no confusion. If, there's anyone confu if there is anyone Please. confusing the debate on this, it is the Department of Social Protection because I'm getting the information from them. The same way anyone who was asked to participate in this scheme will get the information for them. Actually, if we look at the question and answer uh, uh, that comes with it, one of the questions is, does, do the participants have to adhere to the employment or the work which was set out when they were first recruited. And it says no, there is a flexibility there. And it's, 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 it states that all areas of local authority activities can be considered. 
all areas. It doesn't say areas which are not currently being covered by the workforce at present. It says all areas of local authority Thank you, Deputy. can be completed. So, as I said, if people want to contribute to the debate, then they should inform themselves and they shouldn't be spinning falsehoods about what this scheme can and cannot do. Thank you.